And I've already received several emails asking me if I'm going to be the vice president by, am I, <laughs> okay. Uh, I didn't get the call. I didn't get the call from the president. Okay. From president Trump. I didn't get the call, uh, but I'm sure that whoever he picks uh, is going to do just fine. Bishop Larry Raglan is going to join us in just a couple minutes. Let me give you some breaking news before he gets here. The gunman, the gunman who pointed the rifle at the, uh, at the local police officer before he shot president Trump. That's right. On the heels of an attempt to kill him, former president Donald Trump called Sunday for unity and resilience as a shock leaders across the political divide recoiled from the shooting that left him wounded, but fine. A former fire chief attending the rally with his family though was killed. And as the gunman killed him and wounded two others critically. But the preemptive Republican presidential nominee said that the upper part of his right ear was pierced through with the bullet in the shooting. His aide said that he was in great spirits and doing well. And folks, the Trump, the Trump Force One airplane just landed in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, just a few minutes ago for the uh, convention. Quote, I knew immediately that something was wrong and that I heard a whizzing sound and shots and immediately felt the bullet ripping through my skin. He wrote on his Trump uh, true social media site, much bleeding took place. He said, but in a subsequent social post today, Trump said it was God. It was God alone who prevented the unthinkable from happening in this moment. It is more important than ever that we stand united, that we show our true character as Americans remaining strong and determined and not allowing evil to win. Pennsylvania Governor Josh Shapiro today identified the rally goer who was killed as Corey Copperator, a former fire chief from the area, a local hero, died at the rally. His wife shared with, with others that he dove on the family when he heard the shots ringing out to protect them, but a bullet took him out. The FBI identified the shooter as Thomas Matthew Crooks, 20 years old of Bethel Park, Pennsylvania. Um, uh, now, Secret Service agents fatally shot Crooks. The gunman attacked from an elevated position outside the rally venue, outside the perimeter at a farm there in Butler, Pennsylvania. Not long before shots rang out, though, rally goers noticed a man climbing to the roof of a nearby building and they started warning the local police saying there's a man just climbed up on top of a building with a rifle. One local police officer, and this is the breaking news, one local police officer climbed to the roof up the ladder and he encountered Thomas Crooks, who then turned and pointed his rifle at the police officer. The officer then quickly retreated down the ladder and called the Secret Service. At that point, Crooks, though, turned quickly and began to fire toward President Trump. According to the, at that moment, the snipers, the Secret Service snipers got the call that he was on, their, on that building. They then turned and took out Thomas Crooks. Investigators believe that the weapon Crooks used was purchased by his father, Six months ago, and law enforcement officials are saying that the federal agents were still working to understand when and how his son obtained the gun and to gather information, additional information about Crooks. Crooks' political leanings are not really clear. He was a registered Republican voter in Pennsylvania, but he had given $15 to a progressive political action committee on January 20th, 2021, the day that President Joe Biden was sworn in office. Authorities told reporters that Crooks was not carrying identification, so they were using their DNA analysis and other methods to confirm his identity. The law enforcement recovered the AR-style rifle at the scene with a scope, according to persons familiar with the investigation, but would not release their names because of uh, investigation and anonymity of the investigation. So